What's up guys, how you doing? This is Philip Start, and welcome to the second part of my Lombok series. And in the second part of the series, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how you can use the getter and setter annotation in your code bit. So you never have to write getters and setters manually again. So let's go ahead and I'll show you this. So I have a person class and we're going to use this person class as the base of this series. So as you see, there's four, just four fields, but then from them four fields, we're going to generate getters and setters. I think range from line 14 until 72 so how much boilerplate code is that we don't really want to even see that that's just nonsense it's just getters and setters get and set so what we can do with lombok is actually go ahead and remove these getters and setters so i can delete all these so goodbye i don't need you gone and what we can do is actually say and as you see here they don't exist well what we can do is bring in at getter and at setter getter and setter and now that's going to generate the getter and setter for the field that it's annotated above where the annotation is so as you can see now we have the method here first name and that's okay but what we want to do is actually remove these from the field level and bring them to the class level so now it'll generate getters and setters for all of the fields so as you can see now we're all okay now this is going to be an access level of public now if you don't want to have a public access level you can override the value here and change this and you can also change that on the feed level if you need to override that as well so if we go ahead and actually look at the bytecode so i'm going to go down here and what i'm going to do is list out directories and i'm going to say java p minus c and then i'm going to look at the person dot class so we're gonna uh, look at the bytecode of the class here and as you can see we have getters and setters for all the fields field surname field first name get age uh, get ssn and whatever first name get set so now we have everything and that's pretty cool so we now know what these um, annotations are doing because you never really want to trust a, a, a library that says it's going to modify your bytecode and you don't really know what the heck it's doing. So I like to look at the bytecode and make sure I know what's going on. So that's the end of this uh, episode two. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys use getter and setter. In the next episode, I'm going to be showing you two string, hash code equals, and how you can get rid of them as well. So stay tuned for part three.